let's make two things clear. ISIL is not Islamic. No religion condones the killing of innocents, and the vast majority of ISIL's victims have been Muslim. And ISIL is certainly not a state. Well, that was the line from the president's speech last night that drew some of the loudest reaction. The president arguing that a group calling itself the Islamic State is, in fact, neither Islamic nor a state. Joining me now, Brooke Goldstein, who's a human rights attorney and director of the Lawfare Project, and Hassan Shilby, who's the chief executive director of the Florida branch for the Council of American Islamic Relations. We are going to begin with Hassan and then get to Brooke. Hassan, thank you for being here tonight. And so, the, the, it is true that ISIS, uh, that, that, that Islam is not ISIS, but it is also true that ISIS is Islamic, is it not? Well, ISIS is no more Islamic than the Westboro Baptist Church is, or the Crusaders are, or Andrus Brevik is, or anybody who commits violence in the name of faith. Unfortunately, you know, every single faith has had crazy extremists distort and twist that faith to justify their crazy political ends. And the reality is, Megan, is that moderate Muslims, Christians, and Jews have a lot more in common with each other than they do with extremists from within their own faith. And actually, extremist Muslims and extremist anti-Muslims have a lot in common. And that is that they both distort the Islamic faith to uh, uh, promote their twisted uh, agenda, which is rejected by the 1.7 billion Muslims of the world. Well, they, they may be rejecting, you know, moderate Islam, but they are preaching a form of Islam that is very popular in some corners of the world. And by those countries that follow strict Sharia law, uh, they're not that far away from ISIS and some of their beliefs in particular about women, are they? Well, actually, a lot of the greatest Muslim scholars and, and scholars of Sharia have completely denounced uh, ISIS. In fact, on Twitter, you can see the scholars like Sheikh Mohammed Yaqubi, who went on the record publicly, and, and there's thousands of scholars like him who have said uh, the Khalifa that ISIS claimed is illegitimate, their followers are deviant, and supporting them is un-Islamic. Um, so they have been rejected, and the Muslim community has been very vocal in condemning ISIS. They do not speak for Islam. They don't represent us. They not, think they do, but they're absolutely wrong. Not everyone in the Muslim wrong. community. Some Muslims have, and, and no one's c trying to condemn all Muslims. But to argue that the Islamic State is not Islamic, and that there isn't this radical faction, which is significant within Islam, is to deny reality. Well, statistically, there's no more uh, criminals from within the Muslim faith and terrorists within the Muslim faith throughout history, as there has been criminals within the Christian faith. And, uh, you know, let's not forget Andrus Brevik just slaughtered about 80 children, and he's part of some hate groups in Europe uh, in the name of protecting Western Christian identity. The Crusaders said whoever kills an infidel will go to heaven. You know, so people in history have for the faith. Look, we reject all extremists. But it, but we need to look for a world just, where children of all faiths can live in peace But it's not just the extremists. Together. I mean, you look, at, you look at Egypt, an ally to the United States, or at least it was. I mean, the president, the administration has been on the fence about that. But 84 percent there, 84 percent favor the death penalty for leaving Islam. 82 percent favor stoning for adultery. It doesn't seem like the most moderate uh, religion when Sharia law comes into the picture. And that, th th this group takes that to an extra extreme, to an ultra extreme, and they do it in the name of Islam. And we've publicly denounced them. So I'm not familiar with those statistics. The statistics I am familiar with True. are the, the Gallup Pew, that, That's from the Pew Polling which, Center. That is a legitimate right. polling and organization. Right. As I said, I can't comment. Yeah, yeah, I can't yeah, but comment. but you, you're talking about with, Sharia even being moderate. And I'm mm -hmm. telling you, no, no so, it isn't. And so do you know what the maqasid of the Sharia is? Do you know what the goals of Sharia are according to the tra traditional Islamic text? I know I really if you're, if you're you a woman a and you commit adultery under Sharia law, they want to stone you. All right? So I know that. That's, and I, and that's, I know that's that if, you, if you decide the Bible, you no longer again, want to be you're taking Islamic, things out of context. they want to kill you. Right, that's actually found within the Bible. Those are the very same sort of things that are found in the Bible. Yeah, but they're actually uh, doing it there. Are context. you familiar with the case of and Miriam Abraham? Actually, they actually put uh, her in are, jail are for allegedly converting from Christianity, and they wanted to give her a hundred lashes and then to hang her to death. And, and Megan, we've spoken out against that, and she was released. And you know, in Africa right now, you have in some countries, like in Uganda, some Christian groups that want to stone gays to death. Again, there's extremists in every faith. But Megan, how do you think I feel as a Syrian American? And I see my uh, the country I was born in, the country of my grandparents. It's being destroyed right now between Assad, who slaughtered hundreds of thousands of people, and he's doing it in the name of fighting terrorism. He's doing it in the name of protecting Syria. And then I see ISIS killing thousands of civilians in the name of my faith. Uh, unfortunately, both have hijacked great ideals. Assad has hijacked Syria no, and I fighting terrorism. That. I as understand. As I mean, Islam to justify violence and terrorism, and we stand as a against Syrian, it. it must be very distressing. But, but let me, but let me challenge you, Hassan. I have to challenge you because you know yes. you you propose.
be moderate in your views and to want a condemnation of ISIS's tactics. And yet, when you look at your Facebook page, you, you post a link to a 9-11 conspiracy article calling the 9-11 Commission all lies. You list yourself as a fan of this when radical Muslim cleric, Khalid Yassin, who says the military, U.S. military invented AIDS and doesn't believe al-Qaeda was involved in 9-11. Why would you call yourself a fan of that man? Uh, I never called myself a fan of that man. I, I think I saw one lecture that maybe I clicked like on Facebook, and I, that's all you, I know about him was that short clip I saw You list him as a fan, anyway, and you list I him mean, as an interest, and you had it up there years ago. Focused. You were challenged Megan. by it. You said you didn't know it was up there. That was four years ago. It's mm -hmm. still if, three years ago. No, four years ago. It's still up there four, four years later. You know no, who this is, radical Megan, my is. Facebook friends, my thousands of Facebook friends can judge my post for themselves, and people are welcome to follow you're me. Telling me you're Twitter telling me right now you don't know who Khalid Yassan is. You don't know who that is. No, I'm not intimately familiar with him. I haven't seen intimately him. Intimately familiar? Years. Or do you know who he is? I, he's, I think, a speaker. Again, Megan, uh, you know, I was told we were brought here to talk about how CARE is condemning ISIS we, and how we Muslim are, world we is are, condemning Hassan, ISIS. But, but, but and you're trying to talk exactly about mo moderate, moderate, moderation within the faith, and I'm trying to figure out who you mm -hmm. are and what you believe. Let me just do a few. Do you believe oh, that Al-Qaeda committed 9-11? Do you believe work. that? Yes, I believe Al-Qaeda committed 9-11. Okay, and do you and condemn Hamas? Al -Qaeda. We stand against all those condemnism. We condemn any and every group, including Hamas, who that targets and kills civilians when they target and kill civilians. Okay, and there's no doubt in your mind that Osama bin Laden was behind 9-11? Absolutely not. There's and do you no, believe it was no about his version of radical Islam? Look, I believe he distorted the Islamic faith to justify his terrible political ends and that we all need to stand united against those that are promoting fear and hatred and division in this world today. Mm -hmm. do, you, do you, would you shake hands with a woman? Uh, if, uh, if she's related to me and my wife doesn't kill me, see, in the Islamic tradition, out of honor and respect for women, a married man is taught not to touch another woman who's not related to him, and a married woman is taught not to touch her okay. respect. Yeah, uh, I know you've, respect. you've been... Size for that. Uh, Dr. Khalil Mohammed of San Diego State University expressed concern about that and described your ideas as retrogressive, uh, suggesting these are not values that should be taught as part of Islam. And I know you've been a controversial figure, but I appreciate you coming on with your thoughts. Look, well, thank you for giving me the opportunity to make it clear that we all need to stand against violence and extremes and work together for a world where children of all faiths can work together for a better society. God all bless. Right. Thank you.